And when you're doing your daily commute, if you're thinking there are more drivers out on the roads, yeah, you're right. Man, in fact, some parts of Lakewood are seeing a 25% increase in the number of cars during rush hour. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live along one of those areas right now in Lakewood. And Jen, this isn't just annoying. This volume is actually creating a lot of challenges for traffic engineers. Adam, it's a huge challenge. Right now, we're on Kipling Street, right at the tail end of rush hour. I want to give you a look, and you can see just how many cars are out here. Now, Lakewood has seen a huge spike in traffic due to the rapid growth, and drivers are noticing it too. What do you think about the traffic in Lakewood? It's terrible. Sometimes it's good, but it seems like anymore. 24 hours a day is rush hour. As more and more people move to Colorado, the traffic headaches seem to get worse and worse. Green, does that mean traffic's moving well? Yes, yes. Matt Duncan is Lakewood's principal traffic engineer. It's his job to keep up with the growth and keep traffic moving. It's a huge challenge. We're definitely seeing, um, you know, longer queues at our traffic signals and, and, you know, a lot of other roads across the city. Last October, he reprogrammed all the traffic lights on Kipling. He says they saw improvements for about a month, but then... We started seeing standing queues and, you know, longer waits at the intersections again. To find out what was causing the congestion, crews went out and recounted the number of cars driving on the street and found a startling figure. To see that much growth in a small amount of time... In October of 2015, 2,100 cars drove northbound on Kipling from 7 to 8 in the morning. By February, that number jumped to 2,600. Which means 500 more cars are now driving on Kipling during the morning rush hour. That's a 25% increase in traffic, which is pretty much unheard of. Duncan says with that much growth so fast, there's only so much they can do to deal with the traffic. Sometimes even leaving 15 minutes earlier in the morning or 15 minutes later can have a tremendous impact. Now, we asked Duncan to kind of break down for us the worst times to drive on Kipling. Now, if you can, you should try to avoid northbound from 720 to 745 in the morning and southbound from 5 to 6. That's when it gets the worst gridlock out here. Reporting live in Lakewood tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.